And welcome back to Good Day Sacramento out here in Roseville trying Kay's Chili in this edition of Recipes from Home. Now, you also did cinnamon rolls, too, because you said back in Logan, Kansas, where you grew up, chili and cinnamon was a common thing in high school in the cafeteria. So these are your homemade cinnamon rolls. Now, tell people what you're doing with the thread, because this is really unique. The thread is cutting the cinnamon rolls, mm -hmm. and it's easier. It's much smoother cut when you use the thread, oh. and it comes out just real smooth, better than a knife, mm -hmm. and it's something that my mother always used. I love thread. that. And then you're putting and, it in the brown sugar and butter, and right? And there's brown sugar and butter okay. in the pan, ready for it to go, and then this will set and rise for about an hour, mm -hmm. and, and uh, they'll be nice and big and yeah. fluffy, and then they're ready to go in the oven. And you said that the rising is a big part of it, right? Like the you have rising, to make sure you've, it got to, you've got to make your dough mm -hmm. and let that rise and make sure that your water's not too hot when you make your, your cinnamon yeah. roll dough. And I, I, and love, I love this part because it looks very elegant. <laughs> it's very graceful. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's very simple. Yeah, yeah. And, but the, the thread is just a real easy way to, yeah. to cut. I love that. I love so you that. have to have thread. Yes, I love that. So now let's go over here to the chili because the chili's been on simmer in the magic of television, right? Yes. This chili over here has been simmering the final product. How long has this been sitting for from start to finish? How, how long do you encourage people? So probably about nine hours okay. or more. The longer the chili simmers, mm -hmm. the better it is. The flavor is much better when it's simmering. Yeah. I was going to say, so it's, it would be like a great way to start it the night before you go to bed or, or um, start it in the morning and then have it for dinner. And have it for dinner. Yep, and exactly. Then, and I was going to say, so we didn't talk about this. So we talked about the beer, the Guinness beer that you put in your chili. But what is this right here that the you put in? Chester, just a few dashes of okay. that and, and then, a dash of liquid smoke. And you put that in once all of these ingredients are put into the crock pot. Yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. And then I love this because you have a little display here. So um, again, if you don't want just a bowl of chili or if you have leftover chili, what do you encourage people to do with it? So hot dogs and chili mm -hmm. and baked potato and chili. There you go. And cheese. There and you go. And it's a good way to utilize it and try try something different with your chili there you go and these are some of the ingredients that you have but again if people want to add cilantro if they want to add other things so there's a lot of a lot of additives that you can put in there or toppings and then i wanted to show the final product of the cinnamon rolls because in television magic right here oh my gosh the cinnamon rolls are done and oh my gosh one is mysteriously missing oh my gosh how did it end up on this plate oh my goodness okay, okay. so i'm gonna try the cinnamon i know can you believe it it just <laughs> happened so i'm gonna try the cinnamon roll oh i'm jealous that's that's really good the icing is so good that's really good hey, Kevin, and then you uh, viewers of course. wanted to, the recipes for these items here. Um, did you provide them to Morgan so she could post or somebody could post? I will. <laughs> we'll get the recipe to, to one of our producers because viewers are asking about your recipe. Oh. So we will get that over to you. So, good. sorry, I'm eating this sorry, chili. That's really good. And on a cold you. day like today, that's really good. Yeah. All right. I know, T, I'm eating. <laughs> I know. Let them finish. And, so, and then we'll Chili's get great, too. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and I want to point something out really quickly, too. So this is the chili right here. Yeah. And when I was dishing it in the bowl, I said, Kay, what is this? And it's a potato. Why did you put the raw potato in here? Because a raw potato in your soup, if it's too spicy, will help take out the spiciness. I had oh. no idea. That's yeah. really good to know. Yeah. I know. Isn't that good to know? Yes. I had to do that before tip. Yeah. some of my soups. That's really good to know. So, so again, if you have a recipe from home, email goodday at kmaxtv.com with the subject line recipe from home. And really quickly, before we send it on back into Studio K, you're wearing a very special shirt today. It says Airman Corey Dahl, Minot Air Force Base. Your grandson, Corey, he's currently watching in Minot, North Dakota where it's negative 50 degrees. So I, I'm sure he's, oh, there's his picture right there. <laughs> there's your family. So I'm, I'm sure he's probably looking at that chili going, oh, grandma's chili yeah. sounds so good. So you want to give him a quick shout out? Send you some. Hi, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you. Uh -huh. Kay's, got, Kay's got family watching from everywhere. She's got her sister watching in Texas. She's got one in Colorado. They're all live streaming. So if you see the views on Good Day and um, they're from all over the, the United States, that's why it's because of her. Oh, <laughs> so again, right. you have recipes from home. I I know, I know. So again, if you have your recipe from home, email goodday at kmaxtv.com and they'll get sent over to me. We'll come out. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna enjoy my chili and my cinnamon roll. Thanks, Thanks Corey. Kevin. Thank you, Corey, for your service and stay warm. Mm -hmm. Sounds very cold. All right.